Hi, Mr. Bond. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. There is nothing you can talk to me about that I don't already know. Hello everyone, this is Khan Ulrich coming to you again with another episode of Evil Genius, the game that makes you want to play Baccarat even though you don't know what Baccarat is. Which, by the way, if you actually want to play Baccarat, you literally just need a deck of cards and luck. Check out Wikipedia, I guarantee you it's nice and easy to understand it once you read the rules, which are ridiculously simple. Um, when last we left each other... I was slowly getting under the skin of the forces of good. But you know what, I think it's time to twist their tails a little bit more, to thumb my nose at them, and to make them regret ever making me independently wealthy. Ah, so our thriving base. Um, I must note every now and again, if I kind of switch to the pause menu, pardon me for a second while I watch guys play ping pong, hitting the ball at the same time, and... But there's actually no ball whatsoever. Eh, neither here nor there, I'm sure. I'm sure they're, they're completely sane. Um, if I occasionally pause the game, or if you can occasionally see a window up here of a clock recording, Evil Genius is an old enough program that my current recording program does not allow me to record Evil Genius full screen. Uh, this means I have to run it in a windowed mode. And I can't even use, use the hotkeys I'm used to in terms of actually recording the, the material. All of that contributes to kind of making this really awkward... Well, it makes it really awkward. It, it forces me to have to do with this kind of like click back and forth idea. And it's very, very strange to do every now and again. Alright, cool. Um, actually, we have our menus in play. So... Mission underway. Get to it, boys. Um... Plotting, stealing. I'm just checking to make sure everybody's actually where they're supposed to be and doing what they're supposed to be doing. I really thought I had enough of this material. I guess not. Warning! This object is inaccessible and must be moved if it is to be used. Yikes, who am I losing? Jeez. Alright, three people down. Um Alright, so um, after hearing that stunningly amazing um, weather report, who is this man and what is he doing? Ah, he's an infiltrator. Um, I was making sure that our briefcases of money are not being stolen by anybody. And yes, that's actually a concern. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, so we should be all set. I mean, not too much anything really happening. We should be fine. We're getting our inner sanctum up and running. Uh, as we start stealing things, it'll be much more impressive in here. But until then... So if I get this, I start getting uh, these guys showing up in uh, ways that I can bring them in to impress them, really. Warning! Hey guys, get to it, please. Come on. You gotta be kidding me, right? Okay, that works too. Not sure why you guys decided to go into fisticuffs right now, but. Yikes. 
Ah, uh, whatever, they can breach that all they want to. Soon, very soon, we should be able to actually create. upper area, um, like a hotel and things like that. Three. I am a little partial to having a lot of security guards and a lot of social minions. Mostly because my minions tend to kind of have a very short lifespan, or much less than I would really prefer. Eh, but you know what? We can make this work. Hey, 54. Three, eight, seven. Okay, cool. Well, we're still we're still up for numbers. We're fine. Awesome. In the meantime, let's see anything else I can really do. This poor guy's plotting by himself. It really does make me feel like I'm in a Bond movie, and I love it. These jokers. Um, it'll be much better in the second part. Nice. Guys, you gotta be kidding me. Make way for me. Alright, you know what? We're gonna have um, kind of a mess in here, I think, for a little bit. No one takes no one takes pot shots at my uh, oh, evil genius. Troops, where are you exactly? Alrighty then. Wow, that took us really, really low. The good news is that whenever you interact with something in your inner sanctum, it actually refreshes your health. Uh, imagine Blofeld running away to appear in another place. Regrettably, again, we're going to be losing some... Uh, Folks, let's say. Jeez. Uh, every now and again, this does happen. Uh, you have to get to take you know, a couple steps back to go forward. It doesn't make it any less painful. Uh, it might be good for us to lay low for a little bit of time after I do this. Ah, here's the first thing we have to do. Um, so uh, this is Armand Krishnan. Uh, he's he. He's, well, people think he's rather fantastic. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to blackmail him. <laughs> because apparently he sells untouchables for medical research. And we're not really going to countenance that, are we? We're going to actually make sure that he pays for his, uh, how do I put this delicately? His public image, let's, let's say that. I think in the meantime, though, I'm going to pick these two guys up. I'm going to drop them off in Southeast Asia, and I have them plot again. Oh jeez, we're going to have ourselves a fire. Alright guys, feel free to see the first indications of a massive explosion. Yep. That's frustrating. 
Now, thankfully, we have someone here to manage things. This is a setback, unfortunately, but it happens. These things do happen. Time to have her interact with their stuff again. Oh, cool. All right, so we're gonna have to deal with some more really, really frustrating nonsense for a little bit, but that's okay. Soon we will have our medics come on over and make things a little bit better for- I'll put a mouse maze in, just to you know, keep things a little bit more on the up and up. Alright guys, it's time to earn your money again. There are some people who are happy to create other evil base entrances, but to me that just means that there's more spots of vulnerability for your forces. Alright, and this is the second bad guy that we have to worry about. I cannot recall. Actually, 108,000 we actually should be okay for right now, so let's actually bring these guys back in and take a little bit less heat. I've actually never noticed them actually complain about that before. I've only ever heard this. Uh, hmm, ha, hmm, yeah. It's kind of funny for me to listen to it. Okay. Uh, 53. What do I have so far? Nine. Ah, uh, whatever. We're fine. We can do this. So, with our evil mistress once more feeling like herself, and noticing that our average loyalty is falling a little bit, and our average smart, and our average attention, we're going to uh, stick her right back where she belongs. In DOS control room. Nice. And at some point in the near future, if I actually can afford it, I might throw the control room way, way deeper into my, my little mountain of doom over here. But for the time being, we're not going to worry about that. Jeez, how many more do I need? I need one more panel, maybe? Okay, I can see how we make this work. Time to get Eli some. I feel good. Na, 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 na. All right. Bust you up. Warning. Critical hotspots are blocked. Move this object to a more accessible location. Object purchase order confirmed. So Eli is kind of a boss early on. He really is pretty darn good. Don't go slapping like the mama. And again, one of those things where if I go and leave these people alone, they will do some nasty things like steal. That's one thing I can't abide, is stealing. I mean, somebody else stealing from me, obviously, not the other way around. 
<laughs> Sometimes it's kind of a cheat, but what you can do is you can have your people take advantage of them instead of them being able to respond. Um, you're actually psychologically weakening them, which makes you get the first shot. First hit, really. Warning! Burglary in progress. Alright. Like I said, burglary. I'm taking kind of a risk sending off a large percentage of my attacks. But you know what? I think it should be okay. Uh, so as you can see, our sprawling base is taking shape. We still have a long way to go if we really want to make it a massive, massive base. But you know what? Since I'm trying something different this time around, I'm, I'm not too bad out of shape about it. I'm feeling pretty good. Object purchase order confirmed. Just realized I could place another locker there. You know, hurt locker. Kind of insulted because he hasn't been able to do anything with his life. 55, okay. Three, so we get two more. What do we want? We want... I think we want a couple more cards. Um, it is a little weird, unfortunately, that your troops will not impinge on any other duties. So if someone's a... a excuse me. If someone is a tech, for example, they won't do any kind of uh, fighting. Um, and if your soldiers won't do any kind of construction, you know, all kinds of things like that. Check something real quick on uh, good old Eli. Um, the second he gets 200 experience, he's going to be ridiculously powerful in my mind. Aw, oh, the cute mouse maze. Um, you see the circle right here? It's like that buff that you see before with Alexis. No. Either way, we really are in pretty good shape. Um, even with that nonsense that happened before. Excellent. Um, time to pick up Marvin DeLuca. You can see Moonshine, Breakdown Protection Rackets, and uh, you just kind of say, Hey pal, it's time for you to come over here and talk to us. And we're going to take some losses in this one. Uh, normally I would just hide, but I don't think that's the right way to go about this now. We're kind of we're in we're in for a penny in for a pound to quote an old general. Um, I think what I'm also going to do is send a ton of troops over here to pick up this painting. Uh, what this is going to do actually is going to give us one of our first pieces of loot, and Hi. as Hi, security door breached. as you'll see, the loot's actually kind of worthwhile. It helps you. Uh, it helps you keep the loyalty of your minions up a lot more. What if I should put a couple of traps in here as well? Maybe a poison gas trap you know, right in the middle. Intruder tagged for psychological weakening. You know, I really do want to show you guys everything. But that hotel looks like it's going to have to wait. Less than ideal. Okay, so we've already taken some losses, but that's okay. Awesome. Pacific Radio. Bolt the West hills. Coast is abuzz with rumors that Marvin DeLuca, the reclusive crime boss, has been spotted boarding a plane at a private airfield outside Los Angeles. DeLuca is rarely seen in public since the famous Laszlo twin murder. So, whatever has drawn the Don out of his hiding must be important. Perhaps a grand meeting of crime bosses, Bill? I wouldn't like to be in a room with guys like that. All those big guns. You think they're compensating for something, Larry? Hey? Well, I, I must stress that Bill's views do not represent my own. <laughs> Probably a good move, you know. His his views do not stress my own. Good idea. 
Just keep things a little more quiet that way, yeah? Ah, so that's why they're not going to get built. Duh. I was wondering why guys haven't checked that out yet. That's why. Alright, so we're coming up in 20 minutes right about now, so I think what's going to happen is I think I'm going to call this one quits for the time being. Uh, what does it mean as we move into the next phase of our little operation? Uh, this means that next time uh, we're going to try to bring in Krishnan, Armand Krishnan. And soon, actually you will see, here is Marv Deluca. The first of many men to come and do our bidding. And as he comes forward, we'll be nice to him, maybe. And at the same time, we might kind of, you know, rub him out, because he definitely earns it. But until then, uh, next person on our plate is going to be Armand Krishnan. I don't wait till the Lucas sits down so he understands who's truly in power here. See, so we have one of the three, and as you will see here, after we get three, we actually have to pick up a fourth one as well. Um, one final thing while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to put a rifle cabinet in here. Uh, mostly because sooner or later I will need the firepower. Object has been ordered. But, oh jeez, come on guys. Weaken tag issue. Warning! There we go. And here come the valets turned out to handle the stupid intrusion. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, yeah. Intruder attacked by psychological weakening. Yeah. Object purchase order confirmed. Intruder detected on security network. This may seem excessive, and it probably is. But we're going to take things a little more cautiously with, the, with these traps over there. I'm discovering that the more pressure pads, the better. But at the same time, the more pressure pads that you have, the greater chance that people just start blowing things up instead. Anyway, uh, with the way that this is shaken out, we are going to have ourselves a little bit of an uphill battle. We kind of got stalled a little bit when that stupid guy decided to throw up a little bomb and blow everything to pieces. But that's okay, we can recover from that. As you can see, we have a nice little thriving intelligence network happening. Uh, we have a freezer full of dead, dead meat. Oh, we even have a nice little kitchen going on over here, too. So, what we're going to do is cut it for now, and when we come back, we're going to pick up Raj. As, oh, sorry, Ar Armand. Sorry, I've been watching too much of a, of a TV series. Um, we're going to pick up Armand Krishnan and uh, try to see if we can't find that last stupid little guy that we have to find. Um, two more pieces of loot, by the way. I promise we'll pick those up next time as well. So, until next time, everybody, this is Conover signing off.